Okay, now I'm back. So this is part three of the tire series. So what's going to happen here now, I'm going to chew a set of, uh, or a front tire for you to see what's going on with that. Um, a couple of things. You're going to need um, Emery stick. Um, I use uh, polishing pads from Amazon or for, for buffing and polishing your car. Uh, one of the things that, that happens, especially at one of the, at the bigger races is that, you know, you don't really have time to, um, true tires just right off the true or stick them on the track and then try to get them ready before a race because it takes, I think we figured one time it takes eight to 10 minutes of actual track time to get tires to true in, break in. Right. So what we do uh, by polishing them, we knock that time in about it's about three minutes and that's it. I've actually actually I've actually put new tires on a car in a warm up and had it almost right, you know, but right after the race started, probably a minute in, it felt perfect. All right. That's what these are for. That's just your regular old cheapy uh like I said, Amazon has them. It's just regular old polishing pads for a real car. All right, so we got our, our, our front tires. Um gonna mount them. I put it actually put them on the machine. And then I always, I always do a little check to make sure I don't have anything way off and run a tire into it like I don't want. I think the last time I ran is true or I ran them on, on a, a new front tires. So because I'm not actually going to a race right now, I'm just going to true them, just clean them up just to show you guys how to do it. Uh, normally, I would take more material off than what I'm going to do right now. All right, so here we go. We're going to get this going. I still have the true wired uh, backwards, and the reason why is when I polish them. So this one is cut. Where I wanted at. I'm gonna take first. You need to take your emmy stick, and this is because of the glue that's on the sidewall. It'll leave a little edge, so I'll take and just go over the edges a little bit, both sides. Take my green pad. You know, not with a lot of pressure. Just kind of go over a little bit. It'll just be about 10 to 15 seconds is good enough. Take my yellow. Same thing, 10 to 15 seconds. That's it. If you look at the surface, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little alcohol on it just so you can see so it's clean, so you can see what I'm talking about. If you look at this, it looks pretty smooth. Like you're not gonna have an issue with this breaking in really quick. Everyone knows that a, a normal tire, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in a second, I'm gonna true the next tire and not put the polishing pads on it and you'll see what I'm talking, you'll see the difference. I'll do it right now. So this is a good comparison. So you'll look at what it looks like off the machine and then you'll see what it looks like when it's actually polished. That's a pretty big difference. I mean, you know, it, it, it on the track, it's a huge difference. The tire that hasn't been polished is gonna be really, really grabby and hard to drive. You have to turn your dual rate down a lot until it starts to break in. This tire, pretty much, I might bump it back three on dual rate just to drive it, and then before the race starts or you know before that battery packs over, it's ready to go back to where it was. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is your your uh, tire chewing uh, 
video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, um, like I said, feel free to reach out to me uh, or any of my teammates, uh, and we will help you and send you the right direction. Thanks a lot.